Hi everyone! We're here at Town Stars in Central Square, an Irish pub and restaurant known for its awesome drink selection and live music. The club is an institution in Cambridge already. It's been open for 33 years. But food here doesn't get enough recognition. The chef changes the menu seasonally, and they're rumored to do a really good brunch as well. This is the first stop in our Boston food tour project, and we're here on a Saturday afternoon. There's a blues band playing, it's starting to get packed, and we're starting to get hungry. If you can't decide what to do with your life, you just don't know what it is that's right. If you just don't know what to do, you just don't know what's right for you. If you can't decide where to go with your life, you just don't know where to spend your time. If you can't decide where to go with your life, I'm sure you'll do whatever's right. I've always sort of has known a, uh, you were incredibly... A, you know, a, a flair to it that I think is, is different than most places. Well, I think this place is um, different because uh, two reasons. One, Cambridge is a very unique place to uh, visit or live in. And also, um, adding into that, we're a little bit more unique than the rest of the bars in town. What's your name? Hi, well, I mean, cooking should be fun, it should be creative and um, rewarding, you know. So, I mean, the best part of my job, I think, is having all three of those kind of come together, especially the creativity part. I don't think I could sit behind a desk at an office. I'd go crazy. It's better to go crazy in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, well, the Cuban sandwich has been on the menu for 13 years because um, I worked at Chez Henri um, back in 1996 when they first opened, 96, 97, 98. And, um, you know, it was just such a great sandwich at that time in the city. No one knew what a Cuban sandwich was, myself included. And, um, you know, since then, it's, it's just a, I don't know if it's become trendy, but definitely a lot of people have sort of caught on to it. Um, a comparable thing to that now would probably be like the Vietnamese banh mi sandwiches that are starting to pop up in uh, menus and stuff. Those are parsnips. I'm going to take the parsnips, I'm going to puree them in here so they're really smooth, and I'm going to fold them into the potatoes. Parsnip puree. Well, I mean, I get asked that a lot. It's like asking an artist what his favorite color is, you know? I mean, it's it's a weird question, but people, you know, they're curious. So, I mean, to answer that, I would probably say that I most enjoy cooking seafood because we live by the sea and it's readily available. The fish and seafood that we get in New England is probably, you know, could be some of the best in the world, actually. So that's kind of exciting. I like to work with that. Restaurant week, I think it's a good idea. We don't do it, um, but I think for the, um, you know, the higher end restaurants that are in town uh, on those weeks that are slow, you know, they can they can muster up some business that they wouldn't otherwise have. So, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm probably all for it because I don't have to do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bright. Get in your go, cut and go, little sister. Get in your go, cut and go. Get in your go, cut and go, little sister. Get in your go, cut and go. Get in your go, cut and go, little sister. Get in your go, cut and go. Get in your go, cut and go, little sister. Get in your go, cut and go.